What a girl, what a world, what a life. Oh, I married Joan. What a fine love and blind, what a wife to do. Gee and gay, all day she keeps my heart laughing. Never know where her brain has gone. To each his own. Can he not ask why I married Joan? The Joan Davis Show. I Married Joan, America's favorite comedy show, starring America's queen of comedy, Joan Davis, as Mrs. Joan Stevens. And featuring Jim Backus as Judge Bradley Stevens. the living room. Notice how large it is and how light. Oh, be careful to walk on these papers so you won't step on the new carpet. Oh, yeah. oh, Brad, it's a beautiful house, isn't it? Very nice. Oh, and the location is wonderful, too. There's a library two blocks away. The auditorium where they give symphony concerts is only four blocks from here. An art gallery right around the corner. There's a, a beauty parlor down the street. A beauty a... parlor down the street? Oh, it is a wonderful location. Uh, yes, that's fine, dear. Let's go. Uh, oh, honey, did you notice those big, beautiful windows? Look. I didn't <laughs> uh, how do they open? Well, Mrs. Stevens... I'll figure it out myself. I'm pretty good at things like... Now, um, all the fixtures are copper and brass. The roof is of the newest construction. What about the floor? Oh, I'm glad you asked me that. There are three five hearts. It's unconditionally guaranteed that you'll never feel any sag. Well, in fact, you can put any conceivable weight on these floors without the slightest strain. I see. This is indeed the perfect home. It has everything. Oh, yes, Judge Stevens, I've sold a lot of houses in my time, but this is undoubtedly. <laughs> Beauty as well as construction. I'm not mentioning convenience. Oh, Joan, let's go. We just came for a look, remember? And we've been here for over an hour. I'm sorry, dear. I just can't seem to tear myself <laughs> away. It's the kind of a house I've always dreamed of. It's perfect. And did you notice the wonderful dressing room off the bedroom? Oh, uh, pardon me, folks. Uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, there's a storage pantry right out here I'd like you to see right off the kitchen. It's really very handy and holds quite a good deal. Uh, now, now, look, Joan, don't get any ideas about this house. We just can't afford it. Oh, but, but we came for a look, remember? But it's what we've always wanted. But we just don't have that kind of money, and I like the house as much as you do. It was a wonderful house, wasn't it, Brad? Uh, uh, Joan, let's stop torturing ourselves. We're going to stay right here in the old house. We can't afford the new one, and that's that. But I've always wanted a dressing room off the bedroom. Uh, uh, Joan, will you forget about the house? <laughs> okay, Brad. <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Did you notice how conveniently the kitchen was arranged, a place for everything? Joan, there's no sense talking about the house and making ourselves miserable. Put it out of your head. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and how about the room in the basement for a workshop, just like I've always wanted? Oh, what's the use, Brad? Let's forget about it. Let's just, I could never saw the house. <clears throat> And Did you see where, 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 where I, I could have... <laughs> let's, let's try talking about something else, huh? All right, Brad. <laughs> You'll uh, never guess who I saw today. I'm dying. Tell me who. Mort Travers. Mort Travers. Uh, yeah, you never knew him. I used to pal around in high school before I met you. <laughs> oh, this'll kill you, Joni. You'll never guess who he married. Well, tell me. I'm dying. Who? B. Trainer. Not B. Trainer. Yeah, you didn't know her either. She was a cheerleader. <laughs> Good old Morton B. <laughs> Tell me, did they live around here? Uh, yeah, they just bought a new house, the big yard, and a little white picket fence. Around. With a dressing room off the bedroom? Yeah, and a workshop in the back. <laughs> and a large living room? Uh, enormous, and the den with French doors leading on to a party. A party! A party! A party! Oh, Joni, Joni, what's the use? Maybe we can't afford it. Let's see exactly how we stand here. <laughs> now, we'll figure this out, honey. Here's the money Mr. Hilliard will give it for this house and the furniture. There we are. And we got $900 and our life can be beautiful fun. <laughs> and the stock that Aunt Martha gave us for our wedding, it's no good where it is in the safe. There we are. And my father's working. Uh, he can give us back some of the money that he borrowed from us. Yes, and I won't buy that set of golf clubs. And I'll return that new plaid suit I bought. Uh, what plaid suit? The one you told me not to buy, that it was too expensive. That's $100. <laughs> Make it $150. Joe! Oh, dear, you 
ought to be glad. It's like finding another $50. <laughs> But I still can't believe it's true. Do we really own it? They accepted the deposit, and that makes it ours. Here is the receipt. Oh, darling, I can't wait to see our new furniture in our new house. Well, that'll take a little time. They have to decorate first. Oh, that's right, Brad. Say, uh, what color do you think that this room should be? Leave that entirely up to you. Well, honey, after all, you'll be living here, too. It might just as well be a color that you like. Well, uh, how about blue? Blue? Oh, no, dear, not for this room. <laughs> then, uh, uh, green? Uh, oh, green wouldn't go with our furniture at all. Red? Oh, you get so tired of looking at red. No, nope. this room must be pink. And now, what color do you think we ought to make the bedroom? Uh, that, I think, is blue. Blue? Oh, no. Uh, going from a pink room into a blue room would be too violent a shot. How about a nice restful brown? Well, no. Uh, I, now, honey, you'll be spending a lot of time in the den, dear, and I want that to please you. Now, what color would you like for the den? Your den. Blue? <laughs> oh, not blue. Uh, not for a den, dear. I, I was thinking that a, a cream color might be very interesting. Now, for the guest room, tell me, dear, what color would you like for the guest room? Joni, I'm going to leave the whole thing up to you. Well, don't be silly, dear. Uh, you're going to be living here. You've got to have an opinion. I said I like blue. Well, we can't decorate the whole house in blue. I I'd not. No. <laughs> yeah. Come here, dear. Kneel down. Yeah. Uh, don't I? Just kneel down. That's the boy. Would you please tell me what I'm doing down here? Well, I'm trying to visualize how the sofa will look right there. Let me see now, dear. No. Well, I think if we bring it up about three feet, Brad, it's a little closer. Three feet up there. Well, honey, this way. Hold it, hold it, dear. Uh, let me just see. Oh, Brad, come here, honey. Uh, just help me out once more. Well, no, I'm not getting down. Not at all, no. Just stand right here, dear. Let me see now. Uh, there. Uh, the lamp will look great there. Uh, uh, but you're not throwing off enough light, I don't think. Well, oh, dear, I'm not connected. <laughs> <laughs> don't be silly. You know, this is going to save a lot of time when they bring the furniture in later. Come on, let's see what we can do at the bedroom. Oh, <laughs> oh I like this room. I'm glad you do, Brad. You know, I'm going to enjoy sleeping over here by the window. Well, if you sleep there, you'll be sleeping on the floor. The beds are going to be here, dear. Well, Joan, you know I want plenty of fresh air. Please stop talking nonsense. Well, I, what? I didn't say anything. Don't tell me I'm talking nonsense. Blue is the only color for the living room. I don't like blue. Now do as I say. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Well, uh, can we, uh, can we help you? Um, no, thank you. Is there anything we can do for you? Not a thing. Uh, do you live around here? Yes, we do. A neighbor. Oh. No. My name is Judge Steven. Oh, Roger Tobin. How do you do? My, 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 my cat. How do you do? Whereabouts is your house? <laughs> this is it. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Uh, we bought this. <laughs> what? I said this house belongs to us. <laughs> oh, uh, you must be mistaken. This is our house. Oh, no, it's you who are mistaken. This is our house. <laughs> oh, no, my dear. This is our house. <laughs> we bought this house this morning. We bought this house this morning. Oh, there must be some mistake. Well, there is, and you're making it. This is our house, and we're not leaving. We have legal rights. Oh, we're certainly not getting out. Well, uh, I'll call my lawyer. Well, I happen to be a judge. Well, what's the judge? Not not right. Right. I have case. Case. It's it's our house. You don't have a lawyer. man was here. He wrote I don't know the I bet it's better. We got all the it's mine. I know it's mine, but she claims it's hers, and you gotta tell her that she's wrong. I think you're wrong. Well, you know very well that it's mine. I bought it, and she says that she did, but I know she didn't, because I did, didn't I? Yes, you did? There, I knew it. Uh, please, would you mind telling me what this is all about, Mrs... Uh... Uh, uh, Stevens, I... 
I'm sorry, I was a little excited. Yeah, I'll tell you the whole story, very simply and very plainly. Good. Uh, well, you see, we saw this house, and I liked it. So did Brad. A large living room, all that closet space. Uh, but the price, we didn't think we could. But my Aunt Martha, with special fun, and, and we decided, so we did. But the Tobins, they said, but how could they when we were the ones? And that's the whole story, very simply and very plainly. Uh, you bought a house, and another couple claims they bought the same house. Is that what you mean? That you, that, that's just what I said, isn't it? Uh, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. And furthermore, uh, I have a stub here to prove that I gave a deposit. Uh, uh, look here. And I, 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 I'm very particular about keeping all my checks straight. I always keep a, a record of every check, every check that I make. And I got the stub right here for the deposit. Would you just mind reading that? Uh-huh. 898, panty girdle, size 26 pink. <laughs> well, now, look, Mrs. Stevens, if... Uh... You gave one of our salesmen a deposit, I'll have a record of it right here in the office. Now, why don't you just sit down and calm yourself while I look it up? Well, I am calm. I, I'm perfectly calm. After all, why shouldn't I be calm? I know that I'm right about the house, and I'm also right about the checks. So there's no reason why I shouldn't be calm, for heaven's sake. Be calm, you see. I've never been calmer in my whole life, because when you're right, you're, you're right. <laughs> Tell me you're calm. I know that I... Oh, oh. Here we are. Your check, dated Monday, accepted by our Mr. Edwards. There, you see? If Mr. Edwards accepted your check on behalf of the owners, the house is yours, all right. Uh, would you mind repeating that? I say, if Mr. Edwards accepted your check, the house is yours, all right. Uh, would you mind repeating that? Did you hear me? Sure I did. I just love to listen to that statement. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess I know how you feel, Mrs. Stevens. You must love that house. Oh, we sure do. And thanks again, Mr. Simpson, for reassuring me that my husband and I are the new owners. Happy to oblige, Mrs. Stevens. <laughs> oh, well, thank you very much. And goodbye. <laughs> Double hoop. Mrs. Tobin. I put a deposit on a house, and now that woman claims she owns the house. Mrs. Stephen? That's right. Well, we just looked up the record, and uh, we found that her check was... Is that my check? <laughs> yes, your check dated Monday, accepted by Mr. Lawrence. That's all I want to know. Oh, but Mrs. Tobin, I'm afraid that two of our salesmen were out selling the same house on the same... It's my check. It's my house. Oh. Thank you very much. But, uh, Mrs. Tobin, listen. <laughs> oh, Gee, Brad, every time I see this house, I just love it more. So do I. And now that we know the real estate company has accepted our check, the house is ours. <laughs> Everything is straightened out now. Nothing can go wrong. It's our house, and nothing can go wrong. <laughs> Except I think it will. Huh? Oh, I told you, Brad, that I saw that Mrs. Tobin going into the real estate office when I was coming out. But dear, the house is ours. There's nothing Mrs. Tobin can do about it. Well, I don't know, Brad. Uh, you should have heard the way that she hoofed at me. Of course, I double hoofed her right back, but frankly, I think that her hoof had more oomph than my hoof. <laughs> Relax, dear. The, the house is ours and no one can take it away from us. Uh, yeah, uh, but you don't understand this kind of a, of a woman. She'd do anything to get the house. Why, she'd even resort to trickery and deception. Oh, Joe. Believe me, Brad, I know the type. Because I'm the same type myself. <laughs> now, look, you, you're getting upset over absolutely nothing. Let's move in. Move in? Right away, today. But, dear, there's the deeds and the, and the legal paper, the notary. But you said it was our house, didn't but you? But the legal forms, Well, oh, we can sign them after we're in. After all, possession is nine points of the law. But, Joe... And I, I feel much safer if we were living here. Then I'd like to see that Mrs. Tobin try to get us out. <laughs> please, please, let me call the furniture movers. But, honey... Oh, please. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, my God. Oh, honey. Thank you. Matter of fact, dear, I'm anxious to move in myself, you know? <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Uh, hello? Hello, uh, uh, Speedy Moving Company? Uh, this is Mrs. Bradley J. Stevens. Uh, about my furniture. Uh, have you got it on the truck and ready to go? Well, deliver it right away. But, Joan... Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, Laurel Drive. But, uh, honey, I knew that you'd agree with me. There's no sense wasting time. Uh, pardon me, yes. Uh, yes. That can be... Uh-huh. Uh, 345 Laurel Drive. I'd appreciate that if you'd hurry for me. Will you please? Thank you very much. Very <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
That's what I call a service. No wonder they call your company speed. How about that, Brad? You had them on the phone, and here they are. But that's impossible. Now, how could they? They must use jet trucks. But that's impossible, Joe. Well, impossibly not. Here they are. Put it right down there, oh. boys. Yeah, and put the lamp right you there. You just tell us where you want it, and we'll put it there, Mrs. Tobin. Well, oh, thank you. Say, they're not only fast, but they're very polite. Did you hear that? Just tell us where you want it, and that's where we'll put it, Mrs. Tobin. <laughs> You heard what Speedy said, Mrs. Tobin. Brad, it's not our furniture. I guess Mrs. Tobin heard that old expression, too. Possession is nine points of the law. Well, I'm certainly not going to let her get away with this, I promise you that. I'm hey! Well, you told me you'd put it where I wanted it, didn't you? Well, where do you want it? Back on the truck. You've got the wrong address, boys. What? This is 345 Long Drive, isn't it? Yes, but there's nobody here by the name of Tobin. Oh, yes, there is. I'm Mrs. Tobin, and this is my house. Bring it in, men. This is my house. Take that stuff out of here. Listen to me, men. Bring it in. Believe me, boys. Take it out. No, no, bring it in. Take it out. Mrs. Stevens house. It sure is. Well, I've got your furniture out here, Mrs. Stevens. Wonderful. Bring it in. Oh, no, you don't. Keep that stuff out of here. Never mind her. Put that down and get the rest of my stuff. You get the rest of my things. Get that stuff out of here. Don't listen to her. This is my house and I'm moving in. This is my house and I'm moving in. Oh, well, your information, Mrs. Stevens, my deposit check was accepted. So was mine and mine was accepted on Monday. So was mine. Bring it in, boys. Is that mine? I mean, take it out. Bring it in. Take that out. Now, listen, my furniture has got as much license in here as yours has. Put that chair over there, please. Oh, no, you don't. That's where my chair goes. Hurry, boys. I want it right there. breakfast in our new home. Uh, it's just like being on a second honeymoon. Of course, it's a little more crowded than our first. <laughs> love our new house, Roger. Yes, I love everything about it, except for two certain early American pieces. Early <laughs> American pieces? Why, I do like Joe, 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 this orange juice is delicious. Well, thank you, dear. You make the most delicious orange juice in the whole world. How did you like your orange juice, dear? Oh, well, I... I didn't have it. He drank it. He drank my orange juice. Best orange juice in the world, eh? I guess I forgot to give you yours, dear. Well, you might as well take this. <laughs> I'm cooking your favorite breakfast, dear. Hot cakes. And I'm cooking hot cakes for you, Brad. And my hot cakes are made of grade A eggs, fresh cream, and pure sweet butter. check too. Well, we gave them a check. Here, read that stub. So what? I wear a size 24. Good. <laughs> that stub. Look, it's perfectly obvious we all can't live here, so let's try and be sensible and reasonable about this. I'm perfectly willing to be sensible and reasonable. You two get out. <laughs> Come in our own room. Brad, 
I'm afraid it's hopeless to try to reason with those two people. I know, Joan. We both love this house, so I let's... know, but reasoning isn't going to do any good. I'm afraid we're going to have to resort to some kind of a trick or a bluff. And... What, for example? Well, I don't know yet, but meanwhile, you keep talking to him, see? Keep reasoning with him, talking to him, and I'm sure I can think of some kind of a trap they'll fall for. Okay, dear. <laughs> Mind if I come in? <laughs> now, uh, look. There's no use trying any smooth talk on us, Mr. Stevens. We are not budging from this house. But There's I... There's nothing you can say that will make us change our minds. But I... <laughs> but no. No. <laughs> no. To the neighborhood. Oh, uh, well. I'm your next door neighbor, and I just wanted to warn you about my police dogs. They'll tear you to pieces if you're not careful. Uh, won't you uh, come in? Mr. and Mrs. Tobin, I want you to meet your next door neighbor. How do you do? How do you do? I just wanted to tell you about my police dogs. They're pretty vicious till you get to know them. Oh, well, uh, then thank you for telling us. And, uh, by the way, uh, I wouldn't go out in the yard between 4 and 5 in the afternoon. Uh, that's when my oldest son has target practice in his needs class. Oh, now, of course, he only uses 22s, but if he gets you in a vital spot, it could be fatal. Well, I never heard of such a thing, uh, I've got, Mrs. I've got uh, to get back to my house now. It's time to feed my bees. Oh, they're the meanest little cusses. Always stinging everybody. And a person on the block that ain't lumpy. Well, I wanted to be neighborly, that's all. Uh, uh, just a moment, Judge. Uh, uh, we've uh, changed our mind about the house. Yes, you can have it. We're going to see the real estate man right away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were marvelous. What a wonderful idea. Oh, you were marvelous, lover. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, what is it? Oh, no. Oh, what? What, what is it? Oh, no. Frank, can't you say anything except, oh, no? Yes. What? Oh, no! Will you please stop worrying about the neighbors? So far, there hasn't been the slightest bit of trouble. But, Joni, you weren't here. We're going to have a real problem with that old hag next door. Well, what did she look like? Well, to tell you the truth, she looked very much like... <laughs> well, never mind her, darling. Here we are in the house of our dreams, and we should be delirious with joy. Well, I guess you're right at that. Oh, that's better, honey. Now to celebrate this happy occasion. The first kiss in our new house. Mm-hmm. Mm. What was all that for? One for each room. <laughs> I got the attic. <laughs> you know, I guess we ought to be happy at that. No matter how bad those neighbors are, it's better than having those Tobins around here. Well, I should say so. In fact, that old lady did us a very big favor, you know. After all, it was she who got rid of those Tobins, huh? <laughs> Our first guess, honey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, darling. Oh, it's you. I simply had to drop by to tell you how much you're going to hate this neighborhood. Oh, I wouldn't be too sure about that. Oh, but I am sure. You see, I just bought the house next door from that old lady. I'm your new neighbor. What? You mean you? Oh, now, don't look so unhappy. Why, I even brought you a little present. Something I found in the rubbish heap. It's a motto for you. Love thy neighbor. <laughs> well, I've got a little motto for you. <laughs> Move, neighbor. Oh, my. 